Hi, my name is Bohdan and today I want to talk about Burkean Sublime. Edmund Burke's concept of the sublime was developed in a philosophical inquiry into the origin of our ideas of the sublime and beautiful, published in 1756. Burke was the first philosopher to argue that the sublime and the beautiful are mutually exclusive. The dichotomy is not as simple as Danny's supposition, but antithetical to the same degree as light and darkness. Beauty may be accentuated by light, but either intense light or darkness, the absence of light, is sublime to the degree that it can obliterate the sight of an object. The imagination is moved to all and installed with a degree of horror by what is dark, uncertain and confused. While the relationship of the sublime and the beautiful is one of mutual exclusivity, either one can produce pleasure. The sublime may inspire horror, but one receives pleasure in knowing that the perception is a fiction. Burke's concept of the sublime was an antithetical contrast to the classical notion of the aesthetic quality of beauty as the pleasurable experience described by Plato in several of his dialogues and suggested ugliness as an aesthetic quality in its capacity to instill feelings of intense emotion, ultimately creating a pleasurable experience. Prior to Burke, the classical notion of the ugly, most notably related in the writings of Augustino Hippo, had conceived it as lacking form and therefore as non-existent. Beauty was, for St. Augustine, the consequence of the benevolence and goodness, goodness of God's creation, and as a category had no opposite. The ugly, lacking any attributive value, was the formlessness in its absence of beauty. For Aristotle, the function of art forms was to create pleasure, and he had first pondered the problem of an object of art representing the ugliest producing pain. Aristotle's detailed analysis of this problem involves his study of tragic literature and its paradoxical nature to be shocking as well as having poetic value. Burke's treatise is also notable for focusing on the sociological effects of the sublime, in particular the dual emotional quality of fear and attraction noted by other writers. Burke described the sensation attributed to the sublime as a negative pain, which he called delight, and which is distant from positive pleasure. Delight is taken to result from the removal of pain caused, caused by confronting the sublime object and is supposedly more intense than positive pleasure. Though Burke's explanations for the so, uh, sociological effects um, of the sublime experience, such as tension resulting from eye strain, were not taken seriously by later writers, his empiricist method of reporting from his own psychological experience uh, was more influential, especially in contrast to Kant's analysis. Burke is also distinguished from Kant in his emphasis on the subject's realization of his physical limitations rather than any supposed sense of moral or spiritual transcendence. Thank you very much for watching, subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye!